Welcome, friends, to the unboxing and review of the Top Univ 100 watt bifacial uh, foldable suitcase solar panel. I just got this, and um, this is an unsponsored review. I bought this with my own money because I like uh, cool solar panels. And uh, I just took it outside for the first time, and this is the kind of case that it comes with. These are our metal handles up top, and uh, this unzips. Let's set it up. So here we have this unzipped, and this is what it looks like coming out of the case. What's interesting over here on the sides is a magnetic a holder that close it, holds it closed. What I'm liking about the setup of this bifacial solar panel, I have a 200 watt, and on the 200 watt that I have, uh, the actual stand is glued to the back of it. This one looks like it's designed a little bit better with these metal stands on the back. Um, in the regards to a manual, I don't believe there is a manual included, but perhaps we don't need it because we can read all the stats over here. So, open circuit is 21.8. Um, maximum, okay, very good. Now, let's set it up and see what kind of wattage it has. Oh, first let's check out the wires. So it has the MC4 connector, it has the Anderson, it has the 5521, and uh, I believe this one's called the 80 millimeter. So let's set it up and see how long this wire is. So this cable is actually decently long. I would say probably at least six feet long. So it looks like the open circuit voltage is 20.27. And this is what it looks like being set up. I'm actually liking this compact design and I'm also liking the, the kickstands on the back. Very well, very nice so far. So, uh, the panel is producing about 76 watts, which is actually pretty decent. Um, before the charge controller, this is, we're talking about raw power. And after the charge controller, we're talking about 72 watts. So uh, I believe 4 watts is going into the conversion using this system. It's doing 5.8 amps. And this is what it looks like. Let's check it out. That's beautiful. So what I'm liking about this panel is that it has this aluminum frame around and the way that I see it is that such a panel you could probably use as almost like a permanent panel um, eventually because the permanent panels they have instead of this ETFE they have glass here so perhaps ETFE is actually pretty decent what's nice about this panel is it's super light it's about six pounds carrying, carrying wise. So um, overall, that's pretty nice. Okay, so let's do another test. Let's set it up backwards, right against this bench. And let's see what it produces. So now that it's backwards, let's see the wattage it produces from the back side. So the back side is producing 47 watts and 45 46 going to the battery so the back can produce actually 47 watts that is actually pretty exciting what makes this uh the use case for this panel would be is let's say if you created a solar fence uh maybe facing east and west Imagine it's uh, standing sideways, so in the morning, when the sun rises in the east, it would face one side, and when it sets in the west, it would actually um, face the other side. 
So perhaps, maybe the ideal situation would be to create a fence out of this. Beautifully made. So far, I'm actually very excited about the quality and the reasonable pricing of it. So I do believe this is ETFE coating. This feels nice. Quality all around. And top unit, good job so far. So these are the sun conditions that we have. Not a cloud in the sky. Just a little bit of chemtrailing as usual. But otherwise it's fine. Uh, it's still producing great. Uh, let's see. 74 watts and 71 after conversion perfect that is beautiful so my conclusion is actually i really love this panel i believe it's of great build quality and i'll show you right now what i believe is the awesomest parts about it okay so First of all, I like this aluminum frame. The aluminum frame of this thing allows it to um, be used very nicely. I like that it's light. I like the kickstand. That kickstand is really nice. So, we already saw that we like the aluminum frame. I love the uh, TPFE coating. I love that it's IP67 waterproof. Um, I'm loving the length of this cable to be decently long to be able to connect to your power station. Um, I'm loving the decent output. Um, what else am I loving about it? I'm loving that you have all the different uh, connectors over here. You see a lot of um, solar panels, sometimes they just give you the MC4 and then you have to connect other adapters to it. So it's all inclusive. So pretty much no matter what power station you have, you could do that. You could uh, use this um, system. Also, the way that I see it, this is much better than having those solar panels that have a USB port that could get water in it. Um, you could probably use what's called silicone tape and cover up these uh, ports and leave this outside and stretch maybe the waterproof MC4 connected to the inside. So if you want to do a further connection. So what I'm seeing this panel's potential is... Um, to be able to mount it as a fence, to be able to use many of them. I like that it folds out in half and it's like a suitcase one. So what I see about the other suitcase uh, solar panels that um, I saw on um, Amazon is they're, they feel like they're incomplete. One of them, for example, came with some sort of weird uh, PWM charge controller, which is completely unnecessary with it. And also it uses a glass panel, so with the glass, it doesn't really work out very well because the glass is like probably twice as heavy as this. I'm also enjoying this pouch that it comes with. The way that I see it is that if you're doing traveling, to have this pouch, you would be able to throw this in your car and you wouldn't be worried about scratching this thing up. So. What I'm seeing about the solar panel is that it's an all-inclusive, all-in-one type of situation where this thing being closed up, I mean, the setup is the easiest you could probably ever imagine. I mean, this, boom, fold it up like this, and the wire goes on the inside, hangs out on the inside. Oh, so let's see partial shading. So. This is a good option for partial shading. What does the panel produce when it's folded up in half like this? What? How does that work? 147 watts? I'm very weirded out about this. 147 watts? No, no way, no, not possible. Oh no, it's probably incorrect on that side. It's actually producing 25 watts after the charge controller got done with it. But that's kind of interesting. <laughs> 945 amps, that's, that's hilarious. 
13.1 I'm not sure maybe it's my um, battery pack getting filled but that's that's kind of an interesting experiment let's try the other side let's try flipping it to the other side okay so let's see it's folded up just like that okay 29 watts okay so that uh, meter went a little bit confused 29 watts just standing there that's pretty cool let's see if I just stand it up like this what does that produce 33 watts okay okay I'm liking that let's do this one with the stand still down let's see what this produces uh, 44 watts from the back that's actually pretty cool show me a solar panel that could produce 44 watts from a 100 watt panel from the back we're talking about a 50 percent reduction uh, from the highest power output that it does of like about 74 that's actually pretty decent so i would actually give this uh, an eight and a half or a nine out of ten um just to be just to be you know uh, give that extra point for the solar panel that's magical that might come around a unicorn otherwise it would be a 10 out of 10. um build quality is nice i got a feeling also this thing is it would last a long time i got a feeling you could leave it outside for for almost ever let's see this thing this is probably the bypass diode over here they claim that it's waterproof um but we're gonna have to see from the listing so so all right friends um give this video a thumbs up put your comments below and let's figure out what the best solar panel is for you what did you like about it would you buy this one or do you have a, even a better one maybe i'll even get that one and test it out but i'm scouring those amazon listings and trying to see what is the best technology for a person let's say like me that lives in the city that wants to have that backup generation power supply or if i want to go camping throw this in the throw this in the trunk uh, you know this is really awesome i mean you could probably take the solar panel to the top of the mountain um and have electricity there i mean bring a power station obviously however the setup that i have with the battery pack is probably the best way to do it this thing this gimbal wants to just rotate this battery pack is probably the better idea because you could put a lot more um power to it than with a thing so right my friends see you in the next one